Does it feel different going into this year now that you kind of have uh, another year under your belt? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, like I said, it's just coming back for a second year. I mean, anytime you do something, you know, for a second, third time, you're going to get better at it. What do you think this offense has improved the most since the fall camp started about a month ago? Um, I think just getting down with the tempo. Um, you know, like I said, like I said we, we put it in in spring, and um, you know, I, can, I think the fall camp we kind of just got better with it, um, polished everything up for the game time. What do you think the biggest difference is between like a fall camp week and then game week? Fall camp week is more just like good on good. You don't have as many scout periods. We're not really getting like the looks that Coastal would give us. Um, like I said, I mean, we kind of focus on Coastal right now for a game week and just focus on what they like to do. But you only have one week of like Coastal prep, right? Yeah. Why do you think that is? Um, I think just kind of you want to just focus on us getting South Carolina football team better. Um, like I said, we, won't, we don't want to look ahead. We want to focus, you know, get, learn, learn, our, learn our stuff. And then, like I said, when the game week comes, we'll, we'll get to them. You mentioned the looks that Coastal gives you. What uh, do they show you on film? Um, it's a lot of, uh, for us, I mean, it's, it's going to be like a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups with that linebacker. So, I mean, it's just a matchup we have to win as far as the passing game and um, also, you know, in the run box also. Any concern about overlooking Coastal, for lack of a better term? Mm -hmm. You're not looking past anybody. Uh, we want to put our best foot forward every week and um, go out there and dominate each week. That every week of season motto, is that new this year? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's probably, probably been said, but it kind of – Kind of uh, made it more of a model this year, but I mean it's true. Every week is a season, so you gotta you gotta focus in, gotta lock in each and every week. Tyson, how excited are you for this season? I mean, it doesn't seem like it's been a long time since you guys have run out on the field. Uh, it seems like a long time, but a short time. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, it definitely feels good. Like I said, just uh, le le learning the stuff I did last year, coming back, and then just improving on all that stuff. How excited are you being a South Carolina native, um, getting a chance to open the season here at home? Uh, very excited, very excited. You know, a lot of my family will be able to make it, uh, friends, coaches, and so I look forward to it. How many points would you say you guys had to put on the board on Saturday against Coastal to say it's a successful uh, season opening debut for the new offense? Uh, as many as we can, more than them. <laughs> Most definitely, more than them, a lot more than them. How's it, how exciting is it to be able to unveil this offense and, and play your offense, you know, not against your own defense, against a different opponent? Yeah, I think it'd just be good. So have all our fans to be able to see it and um, go out there and just uh, have, a great, have a great time and put everything together. Is the defense able to, to cheat a bit just because they've seen you so much over the course of all teams? Yeah, I mean, sometimes, I mean, we've been with them for a long time now, so we kind of know some of their calls, we kind of know some of our calls, but... I mean, for the most part, it's still good on good. We're still doing good work. What's the biggest adjustment you've had to make personally in this new offense? Uh, I think just, like I said, getting lined up quick. I mean, you don't have as much time to get lined up. You know, you got to get to play, hurry up, and get lined up, and, um, you know, you're ready to go. Is that mentally taxing to, to have all of those plays in your mind at one point? Nah, I mean, cause like I said, we've had, we had a lot of plays last year as well, so, I mean, just – it's just the fact that you have to get lined up a lot quicker now, you know, so you don't have a lot of time to be, you know, playing around. Kristen? Yeah. yeah, she's doing she's doing a great job. Like I said, I mean, um, the food has improved, the nutrition has improved tremendously since I've been here. So, um, you know, every day you can look forward to a good meal, breakfast and lunch. So that's one of the goals. What's her relationship with like with the team? Um, TJ said she's like one on with everybody. How big is that? That you have the kind of relationship with your nutrition. That's great. That's great. Because like I said, you know, um, especially I think a lot for the younger guys. You know, kind of getting adjusted to college. You don't you don't really come in eating the right stuff. So um, just kind of you know teaching them, walking them along, and, and getting them ready for like you know how you should eat and stuff like that. Hey Tyson, how's the relationship between yourself, um, Rico, and AJ? Has it improved over the time that y'all been together? And yeah. All? Just, just talk about what it's like this year compared to this time last year. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we know it, uh, each other a lot better. To be honest with you, I mean, the more time you spend with somebody, the better you get to know them. So, um, you know, I just, I just think honestly, uh, for everybody, for the coaches, they have a better feel for us, and we have a better feel for each other. So that. Is it easy to kind of put some of those egos aside and, and realize that, you know, that you're splitting the ball with, yeah. with two other guys? Yeah, because, I mean, like I said, I mean, both of them can make plays. So, um, you know, we all just got to be ready and, um, you know, just uh, be ready to play and make plays when our number's called. Tess, I'm sorry if it's already been asked, but we've all been talking about this up in the offense. What are your, your expectations for what you guys are going to see this Saturday? Um, 
far as what? Just in terms of yards or points or. or yeah, I think I think I think it'll be a lot more. Like I said, with the up tempo, you kind of getting plays in. Defense won't get lined up, you know. So uh, it just has a lot, a lot more, a lot better chances for for bigger plays. Is there something that you'd like to see to where you're like, okay, this is gonna work. This is something that we can really, really cause problems with this year. Uh, I just think the tempo in itself, um, just going fast. I mean, I, I just seen it. You know, you watch film and. It's hard. It's hard. To, it's hard to defend teams that go fast and, uh, like I said, defense is hard for them to get their calls in and get lined up as quick. Personally, how different is, is starting this season compared to last year, coming off the red shirt, as compared to you know having kind of a role and, and that sort of thing? Yeah, I think just like I said, just having a better feel. Honestly, I mean that's the only thing I can really contribute contribute to. I mean, like I said, the more you do something, the better you get at it. Tyson, with the up tempo offense. I remember last year you were like, you know, just trying to be ready, but it was almost maybe a different kind of way. Now with the up tempo is more like, okay, like in two plays or another next play year I'll be up. How different is that, you know, being up tempo as far as being ready as a running back? Um, just a lot more plays, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be ready. You know, like I said, um, with us going fast, you know, um, it'll create a lot of opportunities for us as, as backs. And then, like I said, I mean, we just gotta be ready to, to make a play when our numbers call.